Hello my beautiful creative people, this is Creative Kingfisher, my name is Nairi. I have my lucky seagulls with me, this is Fred and Ginge, Fred and Ginger I should say, and often in my spreads you do hear seagull squawking. So I would say in the winter that probably wouldn't happen, but it's been happening an awful lot lately as my chickens have been doing the same. So this is a wellness spread and I've been really working hard on my wellness in general. I've done a huge weight loss journey and I'm still on that. So I can say to you that I've come down from 188.5 pounds to 165. That's my current weight, which is a 23.5 um, pounds weight loss and um, I'm really really happy it's going really well and I've been focusing a lot on what I'm eating but also for my wellness I'll be focusing on other things as well so I'm going to be using these seasonal basics by kind of a plan it's an older sticker book um, but I had it gifted to me by Jodie and uh, I'm going to be using this set here I love the colours they're quite muted aren't they and some of this here as well so possibly some quotes although i feel like summer is gradually slipping away um it's still really hot here but i don't want to be doing a bucket list but i might pull some of those from there so that's how it's going to happen i tend to use one row for my my meal planning now one for relaxation and one for exercise so that's how we're kind of working at the minute well, let me see um, and we're going away for another short trip to see my son and his wife so I'm really excited about that actually so I'm going to do a little bit of overlap overlapping because I think it's always nice to do a little bit of overlapping um, let me see I love all of these colours they're really nice blends aren't they and um, I've done quite a few bright spreads recently, so I feel like it's nice to have something a bit more mellow sometimes. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are doing good. I'm a bit tired, a little bit down, I'm not going to lie. I think um, after having the baby and all the frank, frank, franktusness, <laughs> no, not franktusness, it'll come to me in a minute what I was trying to say there. The hecticness, hecticness, yes, very hectic it was, but it was really lovely. And now it's a bit like, mm, not feeling too uh, energised for anything really. So probably a good idea that we're going away for a few days this week as well. You know, kind of to pick up, pick up where, pick up the energy levels really. That's what I need to do. I've just been just not enjoying things the same especially when it comes to planning but I do find that when I've had a holiday break that that does happen and uh, it scares me a little bit because I really love it that's the thing I I really love getting in here doing this but when I've had a break uh, I find it really hard to get back into things and then I get yeah a bit a bit stressed over that but here I am you know I'm gonna get this nice deck chair in when we went to one of the Dorset beaches when we were away I was fully expecting to sit on the hard pebbles for the whole day and actually a cafe was allowing people just to use their deck chairs without paying so that was quite fabulous to be honest with you so I think I'm going to put the other one over there so it makes sense doesn't it let's do that um, yeah so if you've not found me before please subscribe my name's Nairi and I'm addicted to stickers, aren't we all? Um, so yeah, mainly decorative planning on, this, on the channel, but there are lots of other things on there as well. So take a little look and you may be surprised at what pops on there. I'm obviously in the UK, so I bemoan a lot about the shortage of stickers. That's my, my main rant. Uh, but hopefully those things will address themselves over time and stickers will become more of a common place thing in the UK because people don't do decorative planning with stickers really over here. If you say to someone, I'm a decorative planner and I, and I put stickers on, on paper, they really look at you like you've lost your mind because people just don't 
it's not a thing you know and you can't you can't go into a craft shop and find you might find the odd sticker book but it, they call it journaling it's not the quality of stickers that us planners are used to so it's it's different um yeah but hopefully th this situation will change um it would be nice wouldn't it if decorative planning became okay so sorry that i put that sticker down i did it off camera because it it ran out of memory space but that's the only sticker i put on without you seeing what's going on so sorry about that guys now then do i want to put the bikini in there or the bag i think the bag i like the bag let's find somewhere for that to go um yeah yes so i'm saying it would be lovely if the uk became somewhere that actually did end up having sticker availability wouldn't it put that on there i like that there like that this book doesn't have many florals so it's odd not doing florals isn't it well i find it quite odd not having some florals in the spread um it's become something that's happened quite often really so let's have so when I'm doing this, I'm not really thinking about what I'm going to be writing in here today. Normally I'm thinking about um, where I'm putting the meals and things like that. But I think with the meals now, I'm getting to the point where I know what to do with the food and um, how to keep the weight coming off. So I don't feel so much I need to write the meals in. I mean, it, it is still useful from time to time to do that. So I'm sure that I will be doing that from time to time but for me now it's the balance of um, making sure that I'm getting enough exercise and rest and things like that so I'm kind of working on those things a little bit more and that's because that's kind of what I feel if that starts falling apart then probably the food and overeating will come back in because I know that's why I was overeating sometimes just because I'm stressed and and I, I'm learning to try not to do that. I think that can go down there. So it's more of an overall approach on this this weekly wellness about thinking about those things. And because we're going away as well, I'm not going to be able to write much in here when I'm away, but I can put some focuses in here before we go. Probably that's what I will do. So let's have some bullets over here. Sometimes it's nice just to add in the, the old bullet, isn't it? Just, uh, just looks pretty, really. I mean, there's, you can do it without them, can't you? But they do look nice. So let's get some in, just in this little section here. Um, had my nails done this morning. I chose rather a bright colour, I see. As I came up the actual salon, had a look and thought, whoa, I think... Um, people are going to be able to see me before I arrive but because it was a previous ombre um, nail bed on there that needed to cover up a previous bluey colour so I had to go for something quite strong so um, but I'm happy with them because I know they're not going to break and that's the main reason why I have them because otherwise my nails just snap all the time now this has got similar colours in I think and I like this book so just have we got a lady that kind of see for wellness that would fit quite good and she's not wearing winter clothes so I might go back for her these ladies are more dressed up kind of fashion fashion wise so that's the only thing I think about sometimes with wrong wrong kind of it's more of a fashion statement isn't it well how about that one that one's nice. You have a look at that one. Yeah, I think this one's better. And it's got a nice quote with it as well, so nevertheless she persisted. And that's kind of how I feel I need to be feeling this coming week. There's always something in the family that I can't discuss on here, and it's always there in the background. And sometimes I can cope with it, sometimes get upset about it. I'm going to put her there. I'll just try a hundred different places where she sh she could go. I couldn't fit her under the umbrella. And this is quite wide with this with this quote as well. So 
feel like actually she wasn't going to fit anywhere else either. Righty ho. All right. No. So I honestly don't know what that is. It could be a lipstick. It could be something else. But I'm not sure. I'm finding it rather confusing. Let's get this handbag out because that's not confusing or purse, you might call it. So we call purse the bit that you just put your money in and the bag that you put on your shoulder or whatever. We call that a handbag as I think you guys call it a purse and you just put that on there. Yeah, it'll be okay. So let's get some more boxes in. And I think we have quite a bit still. And then we have this. So I reckon we're going to have a beach day when we're away. We've had a few beach days recently. And you can't fail to relax on a beach unless, of course, it's really, really hot. And then that's not so good. So beach day there. So we will be away on the Thursday and it is my son's birthday on the Thursday. So it could be that we do end up on the beach on that day, depending on what he fancies doing, I guess. Uh, okay. This one. It's gonna go here. And do you know what guys? I think that, that is enough. I'm going to write my weight in now because if I do that, then I won't forget when I look at it again. Weight loss is 23.5 pounds. So it's from 188.5 to 165. I'm uh, beginning to feel like really, really different from that perspective and starting to think about whether I can order some new clothes in. So guys, if you like this wellness spread, please give me a thumbs up, please subscribe and check out my channel, Creative Kingfisher, and I will see you on my next spread. Thank you.